Mark Hunter, the sales hunter. And I'm walking you through in this video and in a whole series of videos, prospecting. And specifically, too many salespeople don't prospect or they make up excuses as to why they can't prospect or they're not good at it, et cetera, et cetera. I'm taking each one of these excuses, breaking them down, showing you how to overcome them. Why? Because I want you to become the best prospecting person you can. You know what's interesting? It's very hard to become a really a top performing salesperson without becoming a really good prospector. And don't sit there and say, oh, well, I've got marketing that's going to give me leads. Yeah, but you know what? One day those leads are going to fall apart. You're not going to get them. It's absolutely key for you to be able to prospect. Let's get into this. What I'm talking about right now is the figure of failure. So many times what I hear salespeople say is, well, uh, I can't prospect. That's what marketing does. And um, because I, 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 and really what it comes down to is they have this fear of failure. Let's go through six things. Number one, failing means you're trying. Failing means you're trying. I love, I love skiing, snow skiing, and water skiing. And here's what I found. There are many times, and I'll never forget one time in particular. I was skiing with my wife, and we'd spent the day skiing. And, and um, as is always the case, I, I, I tend to bust apart from her because I want to go to the Black Diamond. I want to go to the, the steepest slopes out there. And you know what's interesting is, is I will fall. and, and it's, yeah. But you know what? Failing. Oh, I fell. Means I'm trying. One day, my wife and I were out skiing, and, and at the end of the day, my wife said, oh, great, I didn't fall at all. And I made the comment, said, I can't even begin to count the number of times I fell. But failing means you're trying. It's okay. It's okay to fail. Number two, big failure always predates success. I, I can't, I can't, this is magical. But it's amazing how so many times what happens is you have a big failure. But, but suddenly what happens is that that failure suddenly creates a better outcome and it, and it precedes success. I love this. I, I just had this today. I, I was having a big failure getting a project done because my calendar is just so tight. And it's like, this isn't going to work. And suddenly it's like, boom, the light bulb went off as to how I could accomplish this. And suddenly it's becoming absolute success. You see, big failure precedes success. If you're pushed to the wall, that's okay. Because you know what? You're going to figure out a solution. It always happens if you allow yourself to be open-minded to it. Number three, believe in your mission. Believe in your mission. Believe in your mission. Whatever your mission is, as a company, as an individual, whatever, believe in it. You see, here's the whole thing. If you don't first believe in your sphere of influence, your sphere of control. How will you ever convince others to? What I mean, believe in your mission. Believe in your mission. For instance, myself, I have several people who work for me and we have some goals, we have aspirations and we have targets and I'm absolutely believing in them. And it requires a lot of prospecting. It requires me to do a lot of prospecting. But I, I'm willing to do the prospecting because I believe in the mission. I believe in the overall mission of what we're trying to accomplish. It's not just the numbers. The numbers, I have to execute the numbers to get to the mission. Think about it this way. If, if your mission was to be able to make it to some sort of a weightlifting competition, then you're going to have to go through a whole series of activities, number of reps and number of weights and so forth, number of exercises and days and so forth, to be able to get to that weightlifting competition. See? But you believe in your mission because I want to get to this weightlifting competition. So I go through all the activity. Same thing. This is the same thing in your job. Number four, don't stop. Keep going. So many times what happens is when people fail, they suddenly stop. Why? Keep going. Keep going. I can't even begin to tell you the number of times I've failed. Over the years, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know, we, we've had, you know, we, we have a very successful The Sales Hunter University online training. Very successful. But you know what's interesting? That's probably about version number five or six. Because we had to go through several different, and they all failed, 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 failed. But then what happens is it ultimately creates. And if I had stopped, oh, 
Years ago, I had a podcast. I mean, years ago, back in the early days of podcasting, I had a podcast. And I stopped doing it. And I just restarted doing my podcast about a year and a half ago. Now, could you imagine if I had had my podcast for that entire, I don't know, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 year period? How big it would be today? Whew. See, I was fear of failing because it just wasn't going anywhere. It just wasn't working. So I stopped doing it. Big mistake. Don't stop. Keep going. Number five, an accountability partner. Who's your accountability partner? You have to have someone. I find that my greatest success and my greatest ability to overcome failure and actually prevent failure is by having an accountability partner. And when I do that, it is amazing how much more successful I am because it helps me to process things. I'm, I have a mastermind group, three other people in my mastermind group. And then there's a person in my mastermind group, you probably know her, Meredith Elliott Powell. She and I were business partners in several things. And it is amazing, but she's my accountability partner. What does she do? She keeps me focused. I keep her focused. And what does it do? It helps us overcome. We've had some issues where there's been kind of this fear of failure. This isn't going to work, but we both poke and prod and push and, 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 and help each other get to the next level. Number six, find the success in everything, regardless of what it is you do. There's always something to learn. You know what's interesting? Top performing salespeople, top performing people in life always know there's something to be learned. You take a great athlete, they lose a game, they lose a match, whatever it is. What do they do? They go to the film room, <laughs> film room, that's it. You know, they go to the video, they, they look at them and they study because they lost a game, they lost a match. What can they learn to help them? And, and if they are successful and they win a game or a match, what do they do? They still study the video. What can they learn? You see, they find success in everything. Fear of failure should never stop you from prospecting. Should never. Now, check out the Sales Hunter University. I want you to become a master prospector. I'm Mark Hunter of the Sales Hunter. Great selling.